Hola, buenas tardes a todos. Aquí estamos un día más en Spain Univision Info y hoy tenemos con nosotros a Melanie Weber. Uh, uh, hi, Melanie, thank you so much for coming to our interview with Spain Univision Info and um, uh, Univision Fantasia. Uh, and as I said, um, you are here with us today and uh, thank you so much for taking time to answer our questions and uh, come to chat with me. Of course, I'm so happy to be here and so glad to talk to you. Yes, finally. So, okay, let's talk a little, a little bit more like serious now about uh, everything okay. that's going to happen and so that happened happen. that, that happen until now. So um, you are a very well famous uh, songwriter in Sweden that wrote like many songs from other artists from Sweden. Uh, but this year you finally uh, enter or you decided to enter um, Melfest. So you qualified on the Saturday uh, the 18th, right, on February uh, on the second hit. And um, you qualify for the semifinal, which is happening this Saturday. Um, first of all, how do you feel when you got uh, selected to enter Melfest this, this year as a lead singer? And uh, how do you feel when you were announced as one of the qualifiers? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, semi, sorry, my computer is uh, okay, like that. Uh, semi two was with uh, Victoria as a songwriter, and semi three was uh, am, my own. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, when I, uh, when they surprised me, because they surprised me, SVT and everyone, that I was uh, one of the artists, uh, I don't think I could believe it. Like, I was in shock. Mm. Uh, I had to take like a couple of days to just like understand what was happening. Yeah, and then like one hour after they surprised me, they they drove me to SVT, uh, where we had like our first meeting with uh, Lotta, Sasha, Kisha, and then Yeni as well. She, they they we've all like created, they've created like the, the the staging and everything, and then they looked at me from like a different perspective because I know them since so many years back, but this time they were like, okay, Mel, we're gonna reintroduce us because now you're the artist and we're we're gonna work together in a totally different way. Uh, but no, I'm. It feels so like I'm so thankful and it feels so right to finally, I mean, to be the one who's like telling the story and uh i love every second of this like it's it's amazing and i'm so happy that i'm in the semi-final <laughs> yeah crazy yeah because as you said like you enter also with victoria's song so but that's like another story you know like you were right yeah. written for her the story was hers as she explained like she really resonated yes. with the story because it was about her boyfriend and everything but uh so you maybe work more on that the musical part or more like a, a song for her rather than yours so now yes. um, also like going to the semifinal with your song, it's even like more emotional for you and like uh, yeah. more exciting. So, so yeah, well done. Um, and now, um, yeah, so let's talk about uh, how do you decided to, to enter the competition? So um, which song was uh, written first, uh, Victoria's or, or yours? And also like what made you come to the decision to enter Melfest finally as an artist? Well, the thing is, uh, my song was written first. Victoria's song, I think we wrote it in August, if I remember correctly. Uh, and my song was actually written uh, one year ago. Uh, mm. I had a session together with Herman and, and David. And um, that day, we were supposed to have a session for another artist. But I don't know. To me, it's so important to have that nerve when, you, when you're writing. And I couldn't really connect with that person. So I remember I looked at them and I was like, can we just write something from like our vibe and nerves, something else? And they were like, yes. <laughs> so Herman started to take the chords uh, for the, the song and then the melodies and the every I like I put out a, like a voice memo. Yeah, yeah the voice note. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I, yeah. Was like, I was like, ah, oh, this is lyrics are different. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's like the first really lyrics that pop out when I just sing the melodies. Uh, but the funny thing is, like, even though it's the wrong lyrics, I kind of feel the like the the emotion the song is about. Mm. Uh, so we had the melody, and then we just put the the lyrics uh, afterwards. Um, but yeah, what was the question? <laughs> like, uh, I think like it was also like how do you compare like uh, entering like what what made you enter the competition as a singer rather than as a as a songwriter because you already entered as a songwriter a couple of times. Yes, well the thing is I've been a songwriter in the competition since 2014. Yeah, and uh, that was the start for me uh, to like understand how 
to write a song for myself and to others because that song was actually written to me uh, because back in 2013 we sent in uh, that song with me as an artist but uh, SVT they wanted the song but they wanted a different artist mm. and I thought that I could start my songwriting career so I said yes and uh, since then I've just I've loved doing BVs and writing to others but I have also sent in songs uh, as an artist for myself mm. but I I the door hasn't been opened and I think the timing hasn't been correct the right timing uh and now when I'm in mellow today I kind of understand why because I feel like I know myself as an artist so much today and I feel calm and I feel that I know what I want to say and mm -hmm. I think that's the most important thing so I'm kind of thankful that this is the time like th this is when I'm actually doing this yeah yeah i mean I, I guess it feels right to uh enter the competition with your song and yeah everything like aligned perfectly so yeah and i think that's why i'm so chill because i've kind of been mentally prepared for this for so long mm -hmm. but the door hasn't just opened yeah so now it feels like it's my time to tell the story mm. and how do you feel when you enter when you are accepted like both, like you and Victoria. No, I was so happy. The funny thing is like when they surprised me with the, the confetti and everything, yeah. Karen, uh, Karen Gunnarsson, who took over Krista Bjorkman and everything, um, she was actually standing like in the corner. And after like 10 minutes later, she, she came to me and she was like, Mel, I just want to say congrats because you have Victoria's song as well. And I was like, ah! <laughs> so it was like everything just smacked on my face it was so exciting oh my god yeah yeah what are they <laughs> epic day epic day yeah. so um okay let's talk about uh, uh, now about your song um mm -hmm. what's like can you tell us a little bit more what inspired you to write this song because you said that this like this song was like supposed to go for another artist but then you, you weren't like a feeling as like the connection or something and also like uh, what inspired you to write uh, to change the lyrics? Because as you said, like the the lyrics at the beginning were about other stuff, and uh, but you could feel like the, the the you could see that the feeling of the song and the the power of the song was the right. So mm -hmm. yeah, can you tell us a little bit more about what does uh, the song mean to you? And um, if you write it specifically for Melfest or just it came naturally. No, the song came naturally because we never, like the other person we were supposed to write to, we didn't even like start writing a song. Okay. So for the show was just totally from the heart. Yeah. Uh, and the lyrics, like that's how I tend to write songs. I just like throw out melodies and then like we choose the melodies or sometimes even the lyrics come mm. out like correctly immediately. But the, the first lyrics we actually wrote to the song is the same lyrics that we kept. Mm. Um, and I mean, this song is, it's about like, I think my entire artistry, like when I was 14 and when I wrote my first song, like I'm, I was born, like I was born, <laughs> I'm queer. Uh, and I was very confused in my teenage years. So music became my therapy uh, my my safe zone uh, so I think my entire artistry has always been about like singing about that like being yourself yeah and throughout the years it's kind of it has kind of changed to more than just that part because life is so much more like I kind of see us like flowers because yeah. we need different things to bloom in life uh, we need to like love whoever we want have people in our life that give us positive energy we need to follow our dreams we need to eat the food we love and to me for the show is just about letting go and following your own voice mm -hmm. uh, like doing your own thing because we're all yeah. different yeah true no, and that's what, what what I really like about the song is like the message. It's like very like true and very like uh yeah, rather than preparing a show, just be yourself and don't yes. uh, fake anything. Yeah. So that's really good. And sometimes uh, you know, for the other of, for the others to like us, for example, we like uh change our like a uh, way of acting or like a uh, being and physically or everything. So 
it really it really it has a really strong message and i can and you can see that when you're performing it you really feel it and you really believe in your message which is the most beautiful thing so thank you yeah because the yeah. thing is like when i sing it i kind of in a weird way sing it to my younger self because i i remember that i had to if i just if i saw this performance if i saw an open, openly queer lesbian woman from armenia and lebanon like i would have it would have done so much to me of course uh, yeah. so yeah. i'm just happy that I, i don't know maybe i can make someone out there feel better and that's enough for me yeah of course yeah i mean that's that's really beautiful and that's really like um like that's that now you do mention about your roots and everything uh the next question is about that so um what um what do you think is or what do you say what would you say that are your musical influences because we can hear that there's music that you write normally is more like upbeat and pop for mm -hmm. other artists like for example uh victoria's song this year uh all my life or the song that you won with uh, in 2020 of the mamas uh move they are like really different uh to this but this really uh feels true to yourself so um how would you think like uh, what how would you say like uh your you like like um growing up as a you know you say that you have a armenian and lebanese uh background mm -hmm. and also being queer uh have influenced uh your son writing uh oh. yeah um, uh what are your inspirations like uh in music for example or like what inspirations in music is like i grew up listening a lot to paramore kelly clarkson like strong women in yeah. the music industry and um, and like when i write music i don't like to like i don't like to take too much references because there's i mean songwriters write in different ways some people they have to listen to a song another song to be inspired yeah. but i think i'm inspired of life and i and like because for the show is it's like mid-tempo ballad and i think to me that it because my ep I, i released an ep called bloom and that ep has the, the kind of same vibe And I think I'm like in a place in my life right now that I just want to, I want to be able to tell the lyrics. I want to be able to like release. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's the perfect way when you have a mid-tempo song, but a song that kind of grows with a crescendo throughout the song. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I love the vibe in it. Mm. Yeah, no, it's really, it's really beautiful and really emotional. So yeah, make sure uh, you check, uh, we all check your, your album because I heard some of the songs, but uh, now that you say that I will, I will check it more and, you know, analyze more the lyrics. <laughs> of, yeah, nice. Thank you. Uh, and um, how, do, how are you feeling? Like, how do you feel when you, when you won with the Mamas in 2020, but finally the, the competition was canceled? Were you expecting them to win uh, Melfest? And also, yeah, how was working with them? Uh, working with them was an absolute like it was amazing and uh, and I think the extra special thing about that journey was that I won together with Pat Patrick Sean and Herman Gardava and they're my best friends mm. so that was just insane looking at your like BFFs and winning Melody Festival and together and I remember that moment uh, it was surreal but I will I think like you know when people say that like when you die you kind of like have flash like memories yes. and i think that will be one of them because it was such a beautiful moment it was i We was had four, you did, yeah <laughs> I <laughs> and I, i remember it was like a strong uh, final with doctor and abaria and all like it was insane but the only thing we could do was to believe and i believed because when we wrote the song we had a special special vibe it was a Like, I remember me and Patrick, we looked at each other and we were like, this is something special. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, four days. We had four days of um, uh, joy. <laughs> then True. the pandemic canceled and then were, everything. And then like, yeah. yeah, it was sad. But the thing is, I am thankful that we had a full like arena with audience in the, the finals because yeah. Denmark, they canceled everything and they had like an empty arena. Mm. So I'm just thankful that we got to experience that moment. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
it was really emotional the final there i was there and i was like i was nerve-wracking you know it was like oh <laughs> you, you didn't know like, who was on the win like mamas or daughter because they were like really i was really, insane <laughs> and then seeing them winning and they were so emotional and they like uh everything bursted into emotions and everything yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really emotional, yeah. and it was so it was so sad because then yeah, uh, one week later everything like was cancelled and uh, it was the worst I time. I feel ever. sorry for them. I feel sorry for them because I mean, winning Melody Festival and you don't do that every day. Yeah, and I know they would have done an an amazing like performance in Eurovision, and I remember that we were we were supposed to open Eurovision. Like I think we was first we were first out, uh, so that was yeah okay. Another yeah. lifetime, maybe. <laughs> yes. If it were, if it was meant to happen, it will happen again. So yeah, that's the thing. And many people, yeah. like everyone, have their story in the pandemic. We're, I'm just thankful that we're here, that we're healthy. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So now let's talk about uh, your performance. So uh, you will be performing in the semifinal this upcoming Saturday. Um, how are you feeling about that? You said that you took a break. Uh, that you des- like you deserve and you need it. So you could like come back stronger than ever. So yeah. to repeat that, um, uh, what are your expectations for Saturday, and uh, how do you feel about the semifinal? Now, my, my expectations. I just want to have a good time. I want to be able to once again like deliver the emotion I want to deliver, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't want to think too much about the competition uh i can do that when i'm in green room but until then i'm just gonna be focused have a good time surround myself with the team and good vibes good vibes only mm, nice yeah as, as as you said before like it's a strong competition so uh, let's yeah. see what, how how sweden votes and how they are feeling on that night but uh meant to be is meant to be yes that's it so but imagine that you end up going to the final and imagine ah! that imagine that you end up winning the whole thing. How would you okay. feel about representing again Sweden, but this time as a singer, not as a songwriter? And also um what would this mean to you? And also um would you change anything of the performance or would you keep the same uh structure that you always saw on your performance and maybe make it bigger? Um I can't say about the changes yet because we've changed like small, small details in the for the staging until the semifinal. So yeah. after that, I can I can answer that question. Okay. Uh, but no, I mean, going to the final would be absolutely insane. I mean, singing in Friends Arena and looking at that ocean of people and just starting to sing the chorus, I think I would like almost faint. Uh, and the thought about winning everything would have been insane. Representing your own country in Eurovision, being able to reach more people out there and hopefully more people that needs to hear this song. Uh, no, it would mean everything to me. Everything. No, not only it's, it's insane. Like the environment of the final is just crazy. Yes, I mean, friends are yes. in, I imagine. Yes. I mean, we don't have that in Spain. Like we have like our own show that we started recently and it's really famous, but you know, that's so much bigger. Like Melfest is yeah. huge. Everybody goes there with their families, like no matter like who you are, where you come from. Like Yeah, yeah. such a thing. Yes, it's it's amazing. So yeah, we'll be rooting for you so you can go Thanks. to the finals. Uh, actually, I will watch it uh, here. So here, I live in London and uh, yeah. we have like a, in London, there is like a Swedish chart. Where... Oh, were you there in my semi? Yes. How yes. was it? Was it fun? Yes, it was so much fun. Yes, yes, yes. So we will go again to the, to the like, is this Swedish chart where they put like Melfest every Saturday and all the Swedish people from London, they go there and they have like a Swedish food and stuff. It's 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 amazing. It's like That's being in, in London. <laughs> And people like go with like uh, the, the the glitter and stuff, you know, like how the people yeah, 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 yeah. In, uh, in Belfast, but here in London, it's like, it's amazing. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so I will be rooting for you there. And Thanks. next week, hopefully we will see each other in Thanks. Stockholm. But yeah. Um, and yeah, apart from like Belfast, we know that you are very busy uh, writing songs from other artists and also for yourself. So what can we expect from you uh, this upcoming year? Do you have more songs uh, that you want to release for yourself or for uh, other artists, for example, like with Victoria, for example, when you wrote with Victoria, where yes. you you only um, wrote um, uh, All My Life, where have you been? Or you also like had other songs that you didn't end up submitting for Melfest, but you wrote with her? 
I mean, the funny thing is I have an announcement tomorrow that I can't tell you today. Okay. That's so sad, but it's uh, like, I'm so excited. It's a song that, uh, yeah, it's for like an, a thing that I'm my, me, I, like myself. I'm so excited. Uh, okay. So tomorrow I'm going to announce this. Perfect. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we have more songs coming out to other artists and I've written many songs and I'm going to keep on writing this year and keep on releasing stuff because I'm focusing more on my own stuff right now. And I'm going to have a summer tour, so I'm going to be out performing and I'm so excited. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm excited. It's going to be a... Um, like career wise and with my artistry, I have an exciting upcoming year. I'm just super thankful and and thankful and happy that I took this decision of actually really focusing on this. Mm, yeah, uh, putting I mean, yourself on their front. Yes, because the, the thing is, like, I'm not going to stop writing songs to others. That's my language. I always write music. Mm. But the thing, like being able to be the one telling the story now is just, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Mm, yeah, it's mind, mind blowing. Literally. Yes. So, uh, and now uh, let's look at it a little bit more generic, like mm -hmm. about uh, Melfest. Like, um, you are very familiar with, to Melfest. You, you said that you are in Melfest, like involved since 2013, right? So that's yeah, uh, 2014. Yeah, we sent in the song 13. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, we guess that you you follow Melfest and you are you are almost every year in one way or another like yeah. involved on it. In one way or another. <laughs> yes, literally. But uh, how do you feel about the competition this year? Uh, it's a strong competition. We said that they are like really strong uh, songs. Uh, for example, Lorin is coming back, which is like the maximum winner of uh, Melfest and uh, Eurovision in Sweden. Uh, yeah. But do you have the chance to meet the other artists? Most of them, you know them because, of course, you were songwriter on the second semifinal. Then you were on the third semifinal um, with other the artists. But um, have you had the chance to uh, bond with the people from uh, this semifinal and in general in Melfest? Yeah, uh, I mean, Mariette, I know since way back. Nordman, uh, we're like, I love them. Uh, we chat yeah. like at breakfast and everything. That's so cute. And... That we were doing interviews. <laughs> so cute. Tennessee Tears, we've been like we have the same label. So we had dinner yesterday and like I love the the band. They're just amazing. Tios is a sweetheart. And who else do we have? Victor Krone is um he's he has the kindest heart. Like he's so sweet. Mm. Elobo Benny, they seem super chill and nice. Uh, who else do we have? Kiana. Uh, what a talented So girl. talented, yeah. 16 oh, years. And she she turned insane. 16. <laughs> And she she is late. She almost went straight to the final, you know? Like, it's, like, very talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else do we have? Was that everyone? Have I... In this uh, heat? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, but it's a strong heat. And the vibe is nice. Like, we had the press conference and everyone was chatting a little before. And, yeah, it's a good vibe. And I think that's the thing, like, uh, both the semi, the second semi and the third semi, and now, like, everyone is just chill and kind, and I think everyone is just super thankful to be able to do this and have have a release like this. Mm. Yes, for sure. And um, now, now we talk about Melfest, and now we are talking about Eurovision. So uh, I guess that you follow Eurovision uh, because... Uh, and recently like in the in the recent years like more, lots of songs like they went viral and then they did like really great outside Eurovision so I get that you also like got inspired and an inspiration from from Eurovision in general that it's getting better and better every year musically and like uh quality wise so uh what would you say is your favorite song from Sweden or other countries that you really would think like oh I could do something like this or I could have written something like this and uh yeah and you cannot, you cannot say. I, I know what I wish I had written, and that's Euphoria. <laughs> I, I, I wish I wrote that song. <laughs> of course. Um, but I, I love um, a Eurovision song. Is if I, I'm saying it correctly, a Blanche with City Lights. Ah yes. Oh, masterpiece. What a masterpiece. So good. So yeah, I wish I wrote that one. <laughs> and what else do we have? I mean, Moneskin was epic. Soldi was, yes. come on. Uh, I remember because I wrote Denmark song 2019 that year. So I remember sitting in the arena and seeing that performance. What a performance. 
Uh, so you were there. You were you were on, in Rotterdam. Yeah, I did I did be these for UK with Michael Rice and I wrote Denmark yes. song. Uh, amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. So cool. Yeah. Uh, so you were on the same team as uh, John Lundvik. Uh, for yes, uh, exactly. Uh, Not the Swedish, but yeah, he because he wrote yes. England. So yeah, UK, he yes. went from Sweden. Yes, he's crazy. Yeah, that was a, that was a fun year. <laughs> he was competing against it, him himself. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. And the mamas were there, so that was like yes. a sign yeah. for them to imagine if I knew, like when we were in green room. One if, year imagine after. if I knew, like shit, Mel, you're gonna win mellow with the mamas next year. Crazy. Crazy. It's life, you know, like it's life. That's, that's why you, you, yeah, when you meet someone new and like you, like, a, or like you are involved in a new project, like you don't, you don't, like you need to take the advantage and make the most of it. So, because literally, like, you don't know, like, who is going to help you or who's going to work with you or what's going to happen in the future. So, yeah, that's the magic of music and music industry, I think. So, no, it is. It is. And I think that's the kick we kind of love that we don't, we have no idea what's going to happen. No. Like, yes. Saturday. I have no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> well, yeah. For you, for you, artist is like good because you know you are not expecting anything, and then you may win. But for us, for fans, if we are rooting for someone and then they yes, don't, make it, I it know. Be very frustrating. So being on the other side is also bad. Yeah. But you know, like having the chance to meet all of you and be closer to you is also really nice because it's like, oh, they didn't win, but at least now I know her and I'm gonna follow her music and you and know, I like. And we appreciate, like, I totally, I appreciate, like, every word you've written to me has been just yeah. beautiful. Like, it's done so much to me. So I'm just happy to finally talk to you. And I'm excited to see you in Stockholm because I'm sure we're going to see each other somehow. Of course, yes. Yes. Nice. Okay. So I think, yeah, this is the end of the interview. Thank you so much for taking time to uh, come to our channels, uh, Spain Eurovision Info and Eurovision Fantasia. And if you have any uh, message uh, for um, our UK viewers or Spanish... Hey. Hola, me llamo Melanie. Trabajo en música. <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto. And then I'm just, I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for the support and all the love you've sent me. And uh, just... Be yourself. Do life the way you want to do life and uh, follow your own gut feeling. Mm. This Thank is you. Love. Thank life. you. Thanks.